with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 3 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miring schedule. Our people in the world, they have to truly repent. They have to sincerely repent like they need air to live. Yes. Pray like all your life and everything else that you treasure depends on it. Yes. yes. Pray as if you are drowning and you need air. And turn vegan. And repent, of course. So our summary is repent, pray for forgiveness, and turn vegan. Three things, wow. which is not really a lot. Please keep watching to find out more. Don't choose vegan. Your health membership is registered. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, all axes, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English. French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian. Greet your new Breton friend by saying Demat Penos Macon, meaning Hello, how are you in Breton, the native language of the Brittany region of France. My name is Annette. The cheerful Bretons applaud your dedication to remaining faithful to your spiritual values. May God strengthen your resolve more each day. Brittany is the most northwesterly region of France, extending as a peninsula into waters that include the Atlantic Ocean and the English Channel. The area's beauty starts with its more than 2,500 kilometer coastline of spectacular scenery, including picturesque coves and historic harbors. Offshore, are around 800 islands that offer natural tranquility and a relaxing change of pace. This idyllic area is home to the Bretons, a proud Celtic people who have preserved their historic language and culture. Their distinctive heritage has contributed to the region's enchanting folklore and tales, which bring to life a magical past of courageous kings, fairies, and sacred springs. There are mystical villages here, as well as the mysterious forest of Porcelon, said to be home to the legendary King Arthur and the wizard Merlin.
Tibetans have the utmost respect for those who devote their lives to God, along with the seven saints who are considered the ancient founders of the region. Many others are recognized as patron saints. And while Brittany does host annual celebratory festivals, the area is perhaps best known for its pardons. These are religious processions in which Bretons gather to honor the saints in expressions of reverence and thankfulness. We were excited to showcase heritage-rich Brittany to you, discerning viewers. May all humans express their innate compassion through the adoption of the plant-based lifestyle, which bestows peace of mind and a happy disposition. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the worshipped world-honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Devji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. On January 26, 2022, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Important Information from the Chief of COVID Part 3 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples held in English. Warning, Sensitive Content But I kept telling you before, we can't just rely on vaccines and all that. We have to rely on God. Yes, Master. God's yes. grace, and we have to better ourselves yes. to, to be worthy of that, to be worthy of forgiveness. I keep telling you that, no? Yes, yes Master. Master. I knew more or less like this before, but to be told concretely, black and white like that, it also made me shiver, made me tremble inside. Yes, yes. yes Master. So after the fourth, I ask him again. But we need people to make this world function. Can world people survive with so minimal able, talented workforce? The CV chief say, do not love those people. Evil doers they are. Wow. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. Gosh. I'm not sure if he told me, do not love people, evil doers. Or he told me that they don't love people, evildoers. And we were in conversation. I didn't ask him. Mm. Uh. Mm. He's gone. But uh, no matter what, maybe he told me like that. I was told one time also before, do not love evil people. Yeah, because I was praying for some people. Yeah. Yeah, yes. And I was told by heaven, do not love evils. That's what they told me. And this time is the second time. It's from a different person. Oh. Uh, one second. I guess they just meant, like Jesus say, let the dead bury the dead, no? Ah, right. yes, so we are all transparent. We cannot pretend we cannot have a facade of 
good moral guys and then think that we are safe. Heavens see everything, even the negative force, they see everything. Wow. Right. Yes, 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 Master. These negative forces were also commanded by heaven to do this. Oh. oh. They're just doing their duty. Oh. So I can't even be mad at them. Yes, yes Master. Yeah, it's all human made. Yes. yes Made on planet Earth. Mm. Yes. Right. So I say, I say to them, but not all clear who is who from the outside, though. I mean, not everybody can see who is who. Outwardly, uh, we can't even see who is who. Yes. 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 Because I thought he told me, don't love evil doer people. So mm. I say, it's not always so clear from the outside look, from their appearance and their outer actions. And we will argue, you know. <laughs> uh, so where will their souls go? As if I didn't know, huh? Of course, we're talking, huh? So COVID chief say, hell. Oh. One word. Oh. I put three exclamation marks in the parentheses. And then I pressed him further. For how long? So the CV chief say, long, long, long time. Oh. I ask again, but even if they repent and turn vegan, no use? So CV chief told me no. <gasps> oh my God. I guess it's too late, that's why. Yeah, last time he told me too late already, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Remember? Yes. 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 Yeah, I just remember now. <laughs> when I was talking to him, I didn't remember. So he said no. And then I, I protested, I said, but I promised if they turn vegan, repentant, I will help them go heaven. Well, I am not writing grammatically, okay, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Master. Oh, don't worry. I, you understand, right? Yes, yes Master. Master. I understand. Yeah, I just read what I write, otherwise I have to rewrite in a correct manner. But I was so upset, I just had to tell you. So the sooner we put it out, the better. Maybe some people will listen and save their lives and their souls. Yes, yes Master. Uh, so I said to him, but I promise if they turn vegan and repentant, I will help them go heaven. Is that not supposed to happen now? So CV chief said to me, oh, well, yes, if sincere. That's his words. Mm. Yes, if sincere. Wow. So, you see, the, the point is people have to repent, turn vegan, and truly, sincerely, humbly repent, sincerely repent, as urgent as you need air to breathe. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. As sincere as that. Right. Then they will be allowed to be helped, and I can interfere with heaven. That's what it means. Right. I didn't write all this, but I explained a little bit more to you. So you understand? Yes, Master. So I asked him, some people uh, recover well. Why? The CVC, meaning COVID-19 chief, said to me, because they repent and pray for forgiveness. Oh. Must have been sincere then. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's what I said. When you are in the hospital, you're out of breath, you can't breathe. And you are all surrounded by near death around you. Yes. Yes. People sick all around you, dying around you, and you have tips all over your body, yes. your yes. nose, your mouth, and all kinds of injections, and all kinds of IV, all kinds of masks, and intubation cubed on you. Probably somebody could pray. Yes. yes. If they have been praying before, and have the habit. And then at this time is the desperate situation. They probably were very sincere. Yes, Master. Mm -hmm. And then they recover well. But that's not guaranteed forever. Yeah. They should continue that way. If they want to leave and if they want to go back to heaven instead of going to hell. My interpretation. Yes, yes Master. Yes. Because they repent and pray for forgiveness. That's all he said. Now I ask again. So if these 91% repent, pray for forgiveness, soon will pandemic be over? So COVID chief told me, yes, but must be truly sincere. Mm. Best turn vegan too. Wow. That's what he said. But can't see that 
will happen soon. Oh. He said he can't see that that will happen soon. Oh. Meaning he can't see that people would repent so sincerely and turn vegan like that. Yes, yes. Master. Master. He even didn't see that. Oh. oh, who knows, maybe we put this on the air. Maybe people will think about it. Yes, yes. Master. Master. Yeah. So I, I say to him, we'll pray that the people wake up. Sorry, humans, so ignorant. Thanks so much. Please help us also if you can. God bless. So long in God's love. Wow. Mm-hmm. And he turned to go. And then I said, oh, but uh, one last question, please. I asked him, I have protectors all around. How you get to contact me? How you can get to me so easily? He turned around and told me, love you. Oh. That's all he said. <laughs> and then he left. Wow. That was the best note of all the conversation. Wow. That is that. Oh, wow. So people in the world they have to truly repent. They have to sincerely repent like they need air to live. Yes. So urgent as if they need air to live like like when you get COVID and you cannot breathe. Yes. Yes. At that time, air is the most important to you. So praying like that, praying like it's your last prayer ever, like you will never have a chance to pray again. Yes. Pray like all your life and everything else that you treasure depends on it. Yes. yes. Pray as if you are drowning and you need air. And turn vegan. And repent, of course. So summary is, repent, pray for forgiveness, and turn vegan. Three things. Which is not really a lot. I can't blame him. He just gives us information, actually. No, it's because I was pressing him. So we came to this kind of common, quiet agreement that if people still repent sincerely and pray for forgiveness and turn vegan, then there is still... Hope. Yes. yes. That's the only thing that they can hope for. Because vaccination doesn't help anyway. Mm. Right. Yes. So no need to press them. No need to mandate them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They also know it themselves. So I am not scared anymore to sound anti-vaccine. It's not like that. Yes. yes. Yeah. I said to all of you before, it's up to you. I mean, to people. Up to you. Yes. 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 Uh, when they asked me about oh, some fatal tissue in the vaccine, whether or not they should take it, I say up to you. Yes. But my message is whether or not you choose vaccination or a booster and whatever you choose that you are convinced will help you, then it doesn't matter. Whatever you choose, a vaccine or not, please pray to God. Please ask humbly for forgiveness, in true, sincere repentance, and please turn vegan, that's all, in all sincerity, repent, pray for forgiveness, and turn vegan. It's not difficult at all, is it? No. 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 It's not a big demand, right? No. No. It's not a demand even, is it to help yourself? If you keep swallowing poison, then you will die, no? Yes. 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 You get sick, no? Yes. yes sir. Mm. If you give your car, you know, the best coffee in the world as a fuel, it won't run. That's right. Yes. Mm. The car won't run, right? Yes. yes. No matter how much you like coffee and how expensive that coffee is, it's not for the car. Yes. yes. Our body is a car that needs different fuel. Mm. Right. We have to put in fresh, living energy from vegetables and fruits and grains, not the dead corpses and filthy energy and rotten pieces of bloody dead meat that's full of antibiotics, full of fear and uh, horror in there also. Yes. 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 This kind of energy, before they die, they torture them, they, they know all that, and they even torture them physically as well. Yes. 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 All their life is torture. So all that is embedded in their meat, and if you eat it, you can't have peace. Yes. Yes. You can't 
feel happy. Not truly really happy. Yes. Yes. And of course you get sick. That is not for humans to consume so many antibiotics and mercury and what not in all the fish people. And salmonella, accidentally, whatever, wherever. Nowadays so much sickness already. Yeah, not to talk about COVID. Yes. Yes. People don't know this, but most meat animals raised on the planet get doses of antibiotics on most of the days of their lives. What's added to beef, pork, and poultry has the attention of the CDC and hospitals all over the U.S. 80% of the antibiotics used in this country are used in animal agriculture. That's 30 million pounds of antibiotics used every year to treat animals that aren't even sick. Antibiotics are fed to livestock to prevent disease and promote growth. This practice of giving them low-dose antibiotics in their food on a daily basis is the perfect opportunity to breed antibiotic-resistant bacteria. These antibiotic-resistant bacteria from meats can be passed on to you and me, making one's treatable conditions more problematic. There's many patients who um, are difficult to treat because they have resistance to antibiotics. Government tests of raw supermarket meat found antibiotic resistant bacteria in 81 percent of ground turkey, 69 percent of pork chops, 55 percent of ground beef, and 39 percent of chicken. Antibiotic resistance is considered by the World Health Organization and the major national health agencies around the world as one of the most profound threats to human health in this century. 50,000 people a year die of infections, which no drugs can help. The worldwide toll right now is 700,000 deaths a year. Researchers are saying that in a few decades, it will kill more people than cancer. seafood contains high levels of a form of mercury called methylmercury. We find so many people have not only high blood levels of mercury, but high total body levels. 40% of the people who came to the Ultra Wellness Center had high levels of mercury that interfere with their biology. Even the World Health Organization recognizes that mercury is one of the top 10 chemicals of major public health concern. Mercury is the second most dangerous toxin on the planet after plutonium. It's the most potent neurotoxin out there. It's an immunotoxin, meaning it can cause autoimmune diseases and all kinds of other issues. All right, any questions, love? Mm, yes, Master. Tell me. When Master's saying, I sincerely repent, what people in the world may not know what they are repenting for. Um, is it for eating meat or what else? For anything they did that is against the law of the universe, against the Bible, against the Buddha teaching, against Jainism, against Hinduism, against Muslim teachings. All the master's teachings tell you to live a peaceful life, a non-violent life, and treat others as if you treat yourself. Know thou that every created thing is a sign of the revelation of God. 
each according to its capacity is and will ever remain a token of the Almighty, Baha'u'llah, Vegetarian. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples Sincere repentance, sincere prayer for forgiveness, sincere vegan. Three things. Even the COVID chip would give you some allowance so that you can get help to rescue yourself from hell so that you don't have to go to hell. And you don't even have to be reborn as a human again to suffer. If you repent, be vegan, pray for forgiveness sincerely, and remember my name, even if you don't ask for initiation or be my disciple. I still can help you. Open-minded viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Important Information from the Chief of COVID, Part 3 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is from the Holy Quran, Surah 35 Fatiha, The Originator, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the beauty of the divine inherent in all creation bring you tranquility and contentment. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.